All right, everybody, we are in week five of our Get Out of Your Head online Bible study. It's not the final week, but we're getting close to the final week. And so we are just very grateful that you guys have stuck with us. And so, Jenny, I know COVID-19 um, was something none of us predicted was going to happen, a worldwide pandemic, a complete shutdown, and some of us are still experiencing um, COVID-19 even more so today. Um, and so I would love to know, what is a lesson that you learned in 2020 or maybe even now that you didn't know before the pandemic? Well, I, I think the hardest part for me, and I know for each of us, is, is different what we've gone through. I think universally we're all going through something together and that's bonding, but, but individually the most difficult part for me was just fear of the unknown, of just not being able to control the future. For my kids who, I had one in college and one graduating high school, and were we gonna have graduation? And, and were there going to be um, opportunities for my son to even get to go back to college, right? He was home for a long time. And so I'm, I worried about my kids. I lead an organization and, and we were still trying to grapple with how do we take care of people and how do we minister and how do we serve? And then the financial repercussions for almost everybody in the world, right? That this has been a season where a lot of the ways that we provided for our organizations or for ourselves were taken from us. And so, you know, I watched businesses just go out of business all around us. It was so sad and so difficult. Friends of ours lost their businesses, had to lay off people in the middle of it. So. I do think there have been more difficulties than we can name, but the hardest part for me was just not knowing, it was almost just this feeling of being in a fog. Like I, I sit at the helm of a ship and I, I'm supposed to direct it and there's lots of people on the ship. There's lots of people that I lead. And for all of you, whether you lead a family or friends or a small group, it, it, there's that same feeling of just going, we don't exactly know how to plan for the future and we don't exactly know where to go. And it's and all of our instruments were broken and you know and we were looking ahead and it just it was paralyzing and so what god taught me in that season was you know what you don't need to know where to go and and that even saying it still to this day is it feels wrong it feels like well no i'm a leader and i have a kids and i i need to know where to go and i need to know how to help them and yet that wasn't our reality. Even the leaders of the leaders in the world, right? They were confused and saying something different every day. And I think what God did was he humbled us and he, he showed us, you know what? I, I am bigger than you and, and you don't know what's around the corner. And yet he also showed us that he's trustworthy. And if I look back at every single day, you know, I think of give us this day our daily bread. That's how he taught us to pray. When Jesus was teaching us to pray, give us this day what we need to get through this day. And I look back at every single day of the pandemic, terrible days where we thought we, were, we might lose everything, terrible days where my parents got COVID and I was so worried about specifically my dad's health, terrible days where I didn't know if you know, my kids were, if we were all gonna make it through this because we were just, there was so much tension in our family. Those days we had what we needed and God provided. Now, it's not that I didn't lose sleep and it's not that there was constant peace in my heart and all around me every day, but I saw him provide. And I believe we're gonna walk out of this season with bigger faith and more belief that God is God and that we are not than we've ever had. And that gives me hope. Jenny, I love that you said that you could see how God had provided for you and your family when you look back um, during your time as we were all in quarantine, and maybe some of you are still in quarantine depending on where you are in the world. But something that you mentioned also was just the fear of the unknown and the whole idea of not knowing what is coming down the pipeline. And so I would love for you to speak to the girl whose future feels unknown. Yeah. You know, I think all of our futures feel very unknown after that. I think the five-year plan is a thing of the past, right? We've all learned, like, we don't know what's coming. And, and I think part of that's okay, that that is the way God wants us to live, like dependent on Him and, and wondering and wanting a relationship with Him. The way that I walk with God is the way that I pray. And the way that I pray is not how probably everyone thinks of spiritual you know, maturity. It's actually as I am going. It is day in, day out, breath in, breath out, moment by moment, walking with God and asking Him, what do you want me to say to this? What do you want me to do here? How do I parent this? We feel, if we look at our days, we feel stuck a lot of the day, right? We feel like, I don't know, I don't know what to respond to that email. I don't know how to deal with this difficulty in our lives. And, and God is not surprised by that. 
And what he wants for us is to depend on him and not to make a five-year plan, but to walk with him day in and day out to make the best decision we can with what we know and to follow the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is kind and it's not always loud. He doesn't always tell me exactly what to do. But as I surrender to him and just say, okay, God, I'm yours and I want this day to be yours. I want this you know, problem to be yours. Help me walk through it. I believe he nudges us and prompts us and, and I don't think he wants to be confusing to us. He wants us to know what to do, but it's usually just what to do with our day, not what to do with the rest of our lives. Well, I feel very convicted, one, that you said, um, make a five-year plan. I'm a planner. <laughs> I love to know what's coming down the pipeline. And so that was really good for me to hear to just do what's obedient for the day, right? Just do what's in front of you and just kind of put one step in front of the other. Um, and I wish I would have heard that when I was 17 applying for colleges and just so confused about what I'm supposed to do with my future. So thank you for that reminder, especially now that I'm 29. That is always good um, to remember. And so you mentioned that just the whole idea of doing what's doing day in and day out, praying, um, being with God, opening his word. And so I think you and your book and what your team has allowed us to do through this online Bible study is do just that, the day in and day out work of figuring out our thoughts or reading God's word or just being in community. And so I just want to say thank you. I know we have another week of study, but just thank you for providing a resource where we can dig into God's word and just put one step in front of the other and just take back our thoughts, which is a really big and crucial step to um, getting our getting our life back. So um, we're very grateful for you, Jenny. Like I've said before, everybody, one of um, the thing that we love to do at Proverbs 31, and I know Jenny and her team loves it too, is really digging into God's word. And so as you read this week and you stumble across scripture, make sure to stop and pause, maybe highlight it, underline it, and just spend time with God, just pondering on that verse. Because when you know the truth of God's word and you learn how to live it out, it truly does change everything. And we believe that here. So have a great week of study and we will see you back once again next week.